The world is full of ancient artifacts that have rich and brutal histories. Even though historians have spent decades trying to find the truth, most of this history is still very confusing. Here's a list of ancient artifact conspiracies that still make no sense. Number 1. The Black Sarcophagus The first creepy ancient artifact on our list is the Black Sarcophagus. This big block of granite looks just as ominous as it sounds. The Black Sarcophagus was discovered in Egypt, which is also the hub of all kinds of creepy artifacts. It is reportedly a 2,000-year-old black sarcophagus made from granite that was buried in Alexandria. The artifact was discovered in 2018 amidst rumors that its discovery would unleash all kinds of curses all over the world. In fact, some conspiracy theorists also link the opening of the black sarcophagus to the current global health situation in the world. Could it be possible that the world-ending curse was the outbreak that killed thousands of people in all countries around the globe? Even though the conspiracy sounds plausible, it's difficult to believe that a block of granite could cause so much destruction, especially since the contents weren't that creepy either. When it was opened, the sarcophagus only contained the remains of three ancient Egyptian army officers and some disgusting brown sewage liquid. The sewage liquid looked fairly recent, so archaeologists assume that sewage from a leaked underground pipe made its way into the black sarcophagus. What's worse is that there's no scroll, writing, or anything else on the artifact that indicated a curse. So unless the three dead Egyptian soldiers caused the global health situation, the black sarcophagus isn't as scary as it seems. Number 2. The Knife Armed Man Archaeologists tend to find some crazy things when they're excavating. Some artifacts include things that humans used in the past, but have you ever heard of a human having an artifact attached to him? As wild as it sounds, this has actually happened recently. A confusing artifact was discovered during a popular archaeological dig when a team of professionals were excavating a 1,200-year-old necropolis in the north of Italy. Some reports even indicated that the necropolis was actually more than 1,400 years old, which only makes the discovery more interesting. Archaeologists found the remains of a human male with the knife blade prosthetic arm. That's right, he had a knife-shaped prosthetic arm instead of a regular one. When his bones were analyzed by scientists, it was revealed that his arm had been removed after he received a blunt force trauma right below his elbow. He didn't just survive the accident, he also lived for some time afterward with the knife blade prosthetic in place of a hand. Number 3. The Elder Cheese If you thought the sewage water in the black sarcophagus was disgusting, here's another ancient artifact that might make you want to throw up. The Elder Cheese was discovered by archaeologists in Saqqara recently and shocked cheese lovers all over the globe. It's also important to mention that Saqqara is also located in Egypt, which is now considered the official home of all creepy ancient artifacts in the world. The Elder Cheese is exactly 3,300 years old. That's right, that makes this the world's oldest known solid cheese. When a protein analysis was conducted on it, it was discovered that the powdery white cheese was probably made with a mixture of cow and goat milk. Sheep milk could have been used too. Some conspiracy theorists state that the cheese was especially made to have been conserved as it was going to be placed in the tomb of an important official. Ancient Egyptians often left food and valuables in the tombs of their pharaohs and government officials. This was done to ensure that they were not hungry or sad in the afterlife. This is why the elder cheese was probably left in the tomb. But if you're looking for a curse, you'll be pleased to know that like everything else coming out of Egyptian tombs, this cheese is cursed too. Scientists have warned that the cheese might be cursed with live bacteria that could possibly kill anyone who wanted to eat it. Number 4. Ancient Tumors with Teeth One of the creepiest ancient artifacts was discovered during the excavation of a Gothic church graveyard that was located in Lisbon. This was a calcified tumor that had actual teeth on it. That's right, this scary looking tumor has been classified as a teratoma. A teratoma is an ovarian tumor which has the ability to grow anything. This means that it can grow both teeth or hair. Sometimes it can grow bones too. This happens because the tumor cells malfunction and start developing randomly. This particular specimen was discovered smack in the middle of a woman's pelvis. This lady died when she was 45, sometime between the 15th and 18th centuries. As creepy as it sounds, the poor woman definitely had a painful death from her toothly tumor. Number 5. The Creepy Cave of Child Sacrifices In 2006, someone fell 60 feet into a pitch black cave in the Belizean jungle. Even though this sounds like something out of an Indiana Jones movie, the poor guy fell straight into a cave full of children's skulls. When the terrified man was rescued, his rescuers discovered a large horde of skeletons in the cave. It was also pretty clear that the cave had never been discovered by archaeologists before. After the cave was thoroughly searched, researchers found 9,566 bone fragments. 
most of which were crushed into soup. Even though it was a gruesome sight, most of the bones were in such a deteriorated state that scientists could not come up with a total body count. In 2016, researchers concluded that there were at least 114 bodies inside that cave. A tooth enamel analysis of the skeletal remains discovered that all of the dead were children. So the cave was full of child sacrifices. Scientists believed that all of the children were younger than 14 years old and most of them were between the ages of 4 and 10 years old. According to Mayan tradition, these children were sacrificed to the Mayan rain god Chak. This was a regular practice for the Mayans who believed that humans were made of corn. Each human sacrifice was to feed the gods. Number 6. Crocodile Mummies Mummies might be the best horror movie villains, but they're not that scary in real life. Ancient Egyptians had a knack for mummifying everything they could get their hands on. This also includes mummified crocodiles. That's right, mummifying crocs that came right out of the Nile was popular in the country back then. This mummification had a horrible reason behind it. The whole procedure was performed carefully to worship the popular crocodile-headed god Sobek. Egyptians even worshipped some of the mummified crocs and thought of them as incarnations of the god. Others raised crocodiles as pets for sacrifice, which honestly sounds like the last thing that Sobek would probably want his followers to do. The British Museum investigated one crocodile mummy that was 13 feet and 2,000 years old. It was one of the scariest mummified artifacts discovered. The mummy apparently had 20 baby crocodiles sewn right on its back, just like a patchwork jacket. Apparently, each of the crocs were supposed to symbolize Sobek. After this, the mummy was handed over to the Dutch Museum, and scientists there decided to give it a closer look. They discovered that the 2,500-year-old was a female crocodile. They also discovered that the mummy consisted of not just one animal, but two adolescent crocodiles. Who knows, they might have even been a couple. The pair was also wrapped with nearly 50 baby crocodiles, which is sad and also incredibly morbid. Number 7. The Serbian Skull Tower The Skull Tower, which is known as the Seli Kula, is one of the scariest ancient artifacts out there. It also has a weird history that dates back to 1809. If you're a history buff, you know that this is the time when Serbia was still part of the Ottoman Empire. During the time this was built, the first Serbian uprising wasn't taking place successfully and the rebels were losing against the Turks. So the leader of the rebels decided to kill himself, his men, and take down the Turkish regiment fighting them. But after they died, the Turks decided to avenge their fellow men. To do this, they collected the rebels' bodies and decapitated them. It must have been a tough job because more than 952 rebels rebels' heads were skinned. After this, their skins were filled with straw and sent to Constantinople as trophies, symbolizing victory for the Turks. The skulls were then used to create this tower which was built right at the town's entrance. The skull tower was intended as a reminder to the rebels so they would never mess with the Ottomans again. But the Serbs wanted revenge after this was built and doubled down on their forces to prepare for another rebellion. They ended up rebelling again in 1815, and after a long struggle, the Serbs achieved their independence in 1830. So with that, we'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.